Hey there, I'm Meg. If you're trying to boost traffic to your website, you've likely heard of search engine optimization SEO. Now, there are multiple ways to boost search engine friendliness, including adding keywords to your website and taking advantage of Google's tools. Over 70% of daily searches are done on Google, and considering that 71% of users click on a result found on the first page, it's essential that your website shows up as close to the top on that first page as possible. The most popular tool is Google My Business, which allows you to create a listing for your business, which looks like this on the back end. Doing so tells Google who you are and makes it easy for Google to display your business in search engine results. You also get a swanky information box that looks like this in Google searches. In another tutorial, I demonstrate how to claim your Google My Business listing and how to optimize it. I'll link to, I'll link to that down below. Okay, the lesser known but super important tool from Google is called Google Search Console. To determine which websites will appear in a search result, search engines crawl every single website for keywords that match the search. When your website is brandy new or you've made some massive updates, you can request that Google crawls your website instead of waiting around for Google to get to it on their own time. This is where Google Search Console comes in. Google Search Console ensures that updates to your website appear in search results sooner. Simply visit search.google.com forward slash search dash console forward slash about to request that Google index your site, meaning Google bots will review your website. To get started, click the start now button. Now make sure that you're logged into the correct Google account by clicking your profile photo in the upper right. I'm going to swap to LEAD, my community organization, since I haven't submitted LEAD site to Google Search Console yet. Next, in the upper left, click the Add Property button, then click Add Property. Here, you will type in the domain of your website. And I do believe you need to have the www dot here. There you go. And then what you're going to want to do is copy this code here, head to the advanced DNS configuration for your website and add that as a TXT record. So I'm going to go do that right now and I will join you when I'm done. And we're back. If you're having trouble adding the text record to your advanced DNS settings, Google the platform that your website's on and then edit or customize DNS settings. So for example, I use Squarespace. So I would Google Squarespace DNS settings and it would come up with a super easy to follow tutorial on how to edit that. Or if someone else designed your website, you can definitely check in with them and see if they can do it for you. So once you've added that text record and made sure that you saved the settings, you're going to click verify here. And it's pretty quick. This ownership verified screen will come up and you're going to click go to property or done. And if you click go to property, which is what I did, you're going to get this little tour, which kind of shows you what there is to know on the back end here. And you just, click got it and click X's through all of those little green pop-ups. So you're not going to see anything for a little bit. Google may take like, you know, 24, 48 hours, sometimes up to a week, really depending to crawl your website, depending on how busy they are. And once that's done, you'll receive an email. And in that email may be suggestions on ways to improve your website for search engine friendliness, including making sure that your load times aren't super lagging, and even things like making sure your text is large enough to read. Now, Google Search Console is kind of similar to Google Analytics in what's shown to the left. So I typically don't look at my Google Search Console admin page, which is where we're at. I mostly go to Google Analytics, but sometimes it can be helpful here. And if you do receive a 
email notification from Google that recommends you do something. Once you do that, you'll come back here and you'll see a little notification and you'll click something to the effect of this has been done and then Google will recrawl your website. So there you have it. That is how to get your website on Google Search Console.